Alrighty boys, so today we're heading to Gold's Gym. It's actually pretty late at night, it's like eight o'clock. No surprise with me, I'm always the type of guy to go to the gym at like eight o'clock, even though it always feels a thousand times better when I go around two to three. Also, to be honest, I've been on that Rice Krispie grind, like no lie. I've been eating Rice Krispies like they're candy before the gym, which it's not even for the pump, like I, I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like the Rice Krispie is just a good, like, a good snack before the gym. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it doesn't make my stomach hurt. It makes me feel, like, good. Like, obviously, I know why it makes you feel feel good because of what's in it and everything like that. It's going to give you full energy, make the pump better, whatever. But, like, bro, just, that shit be smacking. Like, that shit really be smacking, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and for some reason, Cherry Blackout Gorilla, which you can use code Lex on, by the way. Well, I don't know if the Cherry, cherry uh, Blackout's in stock. But either way, I mean... The cherry blackout flavor with the rice crispy is unbeatable. Shit's unmatched. Like, I low key just be munching on it. Also been on the Gabe Gabe Deutsch grind. Gabe Deutsch. Gabe Deutsch. It's Deutsch, but also been on that grind with the uh, baggy ass sweatpants while I'm working out. Like Gabe Loki put me onto that, and like shit's comfy and it just looks sick. Like you look like a samurai. So, how do you feel about that? Well, what you wearing um the sweatpants? Yeah. I feel like it's cool because then only I know how big your legs are, no one else. Also, uh, meet the bro, it's Harrison. So, yeah, he's gonna support me on all of my journeys and travels. So, if you made it this far in the video, which is the first minute probably, comment Harrison. And, but then comment something else though, because I don't want all the comments to be about Harrison. I know he's fucking epic and shit, but I don't want all the comments to be just about Harrison, alright? I wanted to say something while I'm on the way to the gym. I just wanted to give a little bit of advice that I thought about because I saw TikTok today. Like maybe it was yesterday, I don't know. Basically someone was like, posting is better than not posting. And it's true because I just wanted to say this because I haven't had a conversation with someone recently about it. You know, for YouTube especially, because YouTube's a little harder than posting a TikTok or an Instagram picture. For example, people would be like, I don't have a camera or I don't know how to edit. But what I'm saying is, no, I'm not expecting you to go anyone with that has zero subscribers to go buy a $3,000 camera and get Final Cut Pro, right, or something. Or know how to even use Final Cut Pro. When I was 16 years old, you can even scroll down to my channel and find it. I'm sure I have a few videos. I used to edit my videos on my phone. So, I actually had a Canon G7X Mark II, which is like $500 to $600. Not too expensive for a camera, to be honest. It made it even harder for me to edit my videos because I, could, I mean, I have a few videos I edited on my phone that were recorded on my iPhone, but like for the most part, like for the first, I had maybe like 10 videos I've done this to, at, right at the beginning where I started, I literally would download all of the videos off the SD card onto my phone. Either way, I mean, people would have watched it. I'm sure it would have had maybe relatively the same amount of views, if not from the camera, from the iPhone, because the iPhone has really good um, quality. I had to download so many clips you guys don't understand onto my phone to where I'd have to delete every single thing off of my phone including like Facebook and sometimes Snapchat and all that stuff like I'd have to delete my whole camera roll and then a few apps on top of it and I'd just have all of those clips just to make like a 13 to 15 minute video in iMovie. If you guys don't know what iMovie is you can if you have an iPhone I don't know I mean yeah if you have an iPhone you can literally it either comes with it I don't think it used to and it might come with it now on new iPhones or if you don't have it you can just go to the app store search up iMovie it's either free or it's like five bucks. And if you don't have five That's bucks. That's what I still use to edit my videos. Exactly. I mean, even Aaron uses it on her computer. She uses iMovie. And I literally just edit, literally edit all of the clips on my iPhone. Like, I would open up iMovie, clear out my whole phone, literally have no storage just because I wanted to post a YouTube video. It's a good storage. Hey, I mean, you're not going to have to go through it like I did. But either way, I'm just saying, though it was very hard for me and I didn't have a lot of the things that you guys don't have when you're saying, oh, I. I don't have a camera, I don't yeah. have time, I don't have editing skills. Right. It's like, bro, if you can sit in your bed for 30 minutes on your phone before you sleep, you can edit the video in that amount of time, right? It's not that while hard. you're on the phone, while in your bed. Yeah, exactly. Like, start out on your iPhone, learn the basics of iMovie. It should take like a fucking hour for you to learn it. Like, it's really not that hard. iMovie is like the easiest. iMovie is the easiest. It's like, it's like the intro, right? You can edit it on there, and then that can give you a soft introduction to editing on one day. Maybe it works out and you can get enough money to buy an actual camera and then an actual editing software like a laptop, right? I even had my trans my first ever transformation video. It was like 13 or to 16, like 12 to 16, something to 16 years old. That whole transformation video, go watch it. I fucking edited that shit on iMovie. 
And back in the day, I, I mean, it might be the same way now on the iPhone at least. I don't know about the computer iMovie, but on the, on the iPhone iMovie, you can't like expand a picture. So like, I didn't have to screenshot the picture to have like black around the edges so it could fit in like the 16 by nine frame of the iPhone sideways. Or I would just put a Ken Burns on it, which is when the screen just moves down a picture. And it'd be like a full body and it'd go like this, down my whole body, because it's like I couldn't even fit it. And that shit got like $250 views or something now, or like more, maybe like 300, I don't know. And it's like, bro, I literally just did that shit. I literally edited something on my phone, got like 300,000 views. Like, I mean, I'm not saying- And none of it was with a camera, right? Because it's all pictures and all stuff. all pictures. So it's, yeah, I didn't have a camera when I did that. Um, so not saying that you're gonna get as lucky, we'll say, as I did. Um, and get that many views or it blow up, but like, you know, I mean, I'm just saying, bro, like, it's worth a shot. Like, let's say you do TikTok mainly, but then you have Instagram, it's like on the side, it's not even on the side, it's like you want to do Instagram too, but it's not as good as your TikTok or something, but then your YouTube sitting pretty with fucking 10 subscribers, right? And you're like, oh, I want to start YouTube. YouTube is so much more personable than TikTok or Instagram will ever be. People can follow you from TikTok and even on Instagram too, from the explore page and their for you page, and it's like, they're gonna follow you because they might think you're attractive, you have a good physique, but no one, no know one knows you really. No one knows you, exactly. And maybe they'll learn slowly from following you if, you, if you're charismatic on your story or like um, on your TikTok and stuff, but, or they could sit there and watch a 20 minute YouTube of you just being yourself and judge if they like you or not. And if they like you or not, and they, and they keep watching your 20 minute long videos on YouTube of you just being yourself, they're gonna fuck with you as a person. They're not just gonna fuck with you and how you look or like, you know, they're, they're gonna be like, I like, like you're like, I like Lex because he yells and he's funny and whatever. They can say a bunch of things about me. Like, you know what I mean? Like my favorite color is blue. You can be like, oh, Lex's favorite color is blue, right? But like people on TikTok, they don't fucking know any of that shit. Like nobody knows that. But YouTube is so much more personable and that's what's gonna build that engaging following group, I feel like. I feel like YouTube has just always been the most important social media platform, honestly, which sucks because I'm I don't post that often compared to how I should. And if I could go back in time and post more, I would, to Same. be honest. So, but I can't. So if you're young or you're my age or you're older than me, it doesn't matter. I mean, there's always room to start. And when people who are on TikTok and they're, they're mainly doing TikTok and like a little bit of Instagram and no YouTube, it's like, oh, I want to start YouTube, but you know, I won't, I'm only getting 10, you know, 100 views, right? It's like, okay, cool. Like, this is what I say to you. I'm like, nice man, but you would have had 100 or 50 less views than you would have if you didn't post it. You're still doing something. Like, okay, you might not see success in it right away, which is a little discouraging, but the YouTube al algorithm will pick up on consistency or how engaging the audience is to your shit. And if you're interesting and you're being yourself, people can tell if you're being fake or not. Um, people will fuck with your shit, watch it more and more, and then, you know, over time, even if you're, even after a year, if you do it for a year straight, you post twice a week, three times a week, I, I can promise you, none of you are gonna sit there and see like no progress. Even if it's only you're getting on average 150 views now versus 30, YouTube can pick up on it and they're gonna, you're gonna progress the more you post. Thing. It's like anything in this world. The more you do, the more success you'll see. It's undoubtable, especially if you want it bad enough. So even on Instagram or TikTok, oh, I don't wanna post, I'm scared, or I don't want people at school to judge me. I don't want my family to find out. Man, fuck them, dude. You're, you're, you're fucking, I had to make that yellow light. You're yourself. At the end of the day, when you fucking die, you're gonna get buried in the coffin by yourself. The most important person in the world to whoever's hearing this is you. You have to take care of yourself, you know what I mean? Oh, did, did you see Lex po post on Instagram? He's like, show, like, you know, cause when I was in high school, I dealt with it. I've already expressed this a thousand times. But like, and people, people would make fun of me. It's like, okay, now look at me, I'm driving this car. People made fun of me a lot too. Look and it's always so funny because the people that make fun of you are the ones to first ask you for help. Right, exactly. Imagine if you're 16 right now watching this and you never posted, you never tried, and then you are you eventually end up being my age and you're, you go from 16 to 21 and those years pass by and you never did it. Imagine what you could have been. Imagine what could have been. You don't even know what could have happened. Why the fuck wouldn't you at least try? And that's what I'm getting at, I guess, at the end of it because we're almost here. It's just... Even if it's your family, like, bro, fuck your family, my bad, but like, if you like something enough or you care for something enough or you want to see success in something enough, it doesn't fucking matter what anyone has to say about it. Either way, it's just it should come down to if you think it's good or not because you're the one doing it and you want to be happy and that's the most important thing in life is just being happy. And what I'm just saying is- Family will probably apologize when they see how successful you are. Yeah, my family literally loves everything I do. I remember, that's a good, that's a good uh, thing to tell. My family told me to not drop out of high school. And I don't flex being a high school dropout. Like, I, I just didn't have a choice because it was come down to me flying around to Gymshark events and fucking beating a bunch of my fans and like, or 
And other inspirations. Yeah, and exactly. Stuff. And other people that I look up to making, like, growing my brand or staying in high school because I had to do, like, credit recovery and you can't miss more than, like, three days. But I had the gym truck stuff lined up, so I was like, fuck that. I'm honestly gonna... Sorry. But, like, the thing was is... <laughs> <laughs> I was 18, though, so I could make that choice. I know it's a little harder when you're younger, but um, my parents were were telling me don't do it like they did they literally did not want me to do that and as soon as I did it I became a thousand times more happy and my career expanded so far you know what I mean so um, now my parents are thankful that I made that decision it was a big decision but they're thankful that you know I didn't waste those months in school because honestly those few months that I would have been in school but I was like doing the gym shark events I went to like the gym shark pop-up I did like the, the 600 deadlift with David and James and Anthony and Raw and shit like that it, I would, t dude. I would. Your I would, life would be totally different. I would, I would have a different life right now if I didn't make that decision. Completely so. different. Exactly. And we probably wouldn't have. I wouldn't have dated you if you were still in high school. Yeah. So that's what I'm fucking saying. It didn't matter what my family said. I followed my heart. I followed what made me happy. And, and in the end, it made me a thousand times more happy. And I would take it back a thousand times and do it over again. So if you're struggling with the postings, you're scared. People think I don't give. Listen. Who the fuck cares? Who actually cares, bro? When you're 80 years old, you're not gonna fucking think about how they were doing this at you in school and shit, like flexing. And nobody, who the fuck cares? So post, post, just post, just try. If it doesn't work out and you don't think you can do it after at least trying for a while, then, you know, that's up to, that's up to you if you want to keep trying or not. But Wasn't there a YouTuber that posted every single day yeah. for like years and years and no, years? I don't know if it wasn't every single day, but I think like Matt does fitness. You guys, I'm sure you guys know Matt does fitness. I'm pretty sure he was, he did seven, YouTube for like seven years before he saw a bunch of success. So I'm saying, so fucking post. That's all I'm saying. All right, we're here. So yeah, just fucking post, dude. Literally just post pictures, post videos, and be yourself and just, bro, do what makes you happy. It doesn't even have to be on like social media or anything like that. Just basically all your fucking dreams and fuck what everyone else has to say. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm fucking saying. You know what I'm saying?
I've been really asking Jacob to edit because I've been like enjoying editing because you know, if you, you guys, a lot of you probably know, like I used to edit my own videos um, and I enjoy, I enjoy editing, like it's fun to me, but it's just like, it depends, just some, I guess it's like, I really like doing it until I get annoyed by doing it. Now that I haven't done it so long and I edited those two videos, um, I don't know, I probably posted a few videos before this one, maybe with Alex, I don't know who edited them, but right now, regardless, I, I, I don't know who's going to edit this video, but like, what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is like, bro, there was t the two videos I edited, Aesthetic Pull Day and New Car Plus Push Day or something. I edited those, bro. I, they were short and sweet, but like, dude, just editing it with copyright music was so fucking euphoric to me. Like, I, like, I love, those are like one of my favorite videos and it's like six minutes long because it's just like so good with the music. Like the music, bro, imagine if I played fucking fart noises during the workout like yeah it sucks man being a YouTube creator when you want to use any music you want but you also want to earn money so it's like yeah because this is a good video I feel like with the talking at the beginning and this little workout you know so I can't believe my are just watching, bro, people are just watching this shit right now people are really just like like this recording in like four five a week days whatever I don't know just like people are just watching this like they're actually just like you're literally they're just seeing me right now through that screen like 60,000 people 50,000 or something like a stadium full of people are just looking at me right now. Yeah, really zoomed in. <laughs> Got that? Uh, hi.